warnings are up. The weather guy says it's gonna miss us, but... You can never be too careful. No matter how bad things are, they can always get worse. Mom! I'm expecting a call from the bank. Your thoughts attract things with a force that you cannot see, but is definitely real. Every once in a while, I think a project comes around at just the right time. And for me, that's what this movie was. It's so easy to get lost in this really intense rabbit hole of, of, of suffering that so much of humanity is in right now, right? So I, I do think that there's a conversation there to be had within a family of who decides to be positive and chooses to be positive and works to be positive every day. Sometimes it's inherent and sometimes it's just work, you know? It's and I, But I, I absolutely believe in the work, you know, and that, and that it affects you. How do you know Miranda? I don't really. Why are you fixing a roof? I wonder if it was sort of meant to be. You know, this film was supposed to come out in April, but in the theaters, and then nobody's going to theaters. I mean, I just think it's a good time to release the film. It's a really positive message. Also, on the other hand, my family and I have watched everything else that's on the internet or Bravo, 90 Day Fiance. We've watched it all. There's nothing else to watch. So the last thing, the, finally we get some new content, and that's the secret dare to dream. Now, if you could will anything into your life right now in this moment, what would it be? Better Wi-Fi on this camping trip that I am on. I am going to put, I'm going to use the secret laws of attraction and get better Wi-Fi here. Okay, this is me thinking about pizza. Don't look at me. You know, you reunited with your director from Sweet Home Alabama. And since you reunited with your director, was there any talk about a sequel? Would you be into that? I mean, look, I think Andy would love to do a sequel. Andy and I have spoken about it consistently. And, and part of the joy of this movie was going back to work with him again. I definitely put it out there to Reese. <laughs> you know, but I definitely do keep putting it out there to her saying, hey, come on, let's do it. Last but not least, I would normally never ask this in a junket setting, but I think with this movie, it is the exception. After people watch it, what do you hope that they walk away with? I hope that they include the daily possibility of, of working harder towards thinking positive and that it and, and that the benefits of it, the, it's like anything. It's like the harder you work at it, the better, the more it comes back to you. This is something you wrote on Instagram, which I love. You said, if you believe in them laws of attraction, enjoyed Sweet Home Alabama, get lost in Josh Lucas's eyes, and think <laughs> Katie Holmes is, is an amazing mom, actress, beauty, then the secret dare to dream is for you. And I would just like to ask you, is there anything else you would like to add to that <laughs> i can't believe i wrote that I, that's really that's really catchy i must have been drunk when i wrote that no you know what i really believe in this film um listen if you read the secret and you liked it you're gonna absolutely love this film forget about it if you haven't read the secret um it's a really positive message it's really good i think you should check it out <laughs> <laughs>